Hey guys, Seth here, probably better known as Seth Ron Olive. If I sound a little funny, I've been uh, dealing with a head cold for the past couple days, which uh, seems to always strike me on Pro Tour weekends. Not sure why that is. Um, anyway, we have another budget brew this week. Not quite as cheap as our last one, but still pretty cost effective at 22 tickets online and 97 in paper. And we'll talk a little bit more about this price in a minute because there's actually ways you can cut down uh, even more from that number. Anyway, um, this is Pilly Pala Combo. Uh, basically, this deck is built around the combo of Grand Architect uh, and Pilly Pala. So these two cards together basically create an infinite mana combo. Once you get them both on the battlefield, have all the mana you could ever want. Uh, so let's look at these cards. Grand Architect uh, costs 1 and 2 blue, and you get a 1-3 that gives all other blue creatures plus 1, plus 1, which we don't especially care about. That's not uh, really part of our deck. Uh, but it has two more abilities. One, you can pay 1 blue, and you can turn an artifact creature into a blue creature until end of turn. And then the second one is you can tap an untapped blue creature to add 2 mana that you can only spend on artifact spells or activated abilities on artifacts. So that's the important part, because Pilly Pala, as you can see, is an artifact. Uh, it costs two when you get a 1-1 one, one flyer, but it has this ability where you can pay two and untap Pilly Pala to add one mana of any color. So basically, if we use Grand Architect and turn our Pilly Pala blue, we can tap it for two mana with Grand Architect's ability, untap it for two mana, uh, with Pilly Pala's ability, and the end result of this is we add one mana of any color to our mana pool. So we can do that as many times as we want. So that gives us infinite mana. So what do we do with our infinite mana? Well, we have Azure Mage, which is, gives us the ability to draw our entire deck. Azure Mage is a one in a blue human wizard, that's a two one, and it has an ability where you can pay three in a blue and draw a card. So, once we have this infinite mana going, Azure Mage lets us draw our entire deck till we find one of our win conditions. Uh, our win conditions are Blue Sun Zenith, which uh, lets us make our opponent draw their entire deck, plus one card, which uh, makes them lose the game on the spot. And also Pyromatics, which this is a, might seem like a weird choice, but Pyromanix and Blue Sun Zenith, these two are um, the most desirable win conditions for one very important reason we're going to talk about in just a second. In theory, you could play Fireball or any other uh, card that just kills your opponent with unlimited mana. But Blue Sun Zenith, as you see, has a converted mana cost of 3. Pyromanix has a converted mana cost of 2. This is important because another major piece of this deck are transmute cards like drift of the phantasms so drift of the phantasms is a zero five defending flying uh, spirit that costs two in a blue but we very rarely actually cast it as a creature what we do is we transmute it which allows us to pay one and two blue discard drift of phantasms and search for another three converted mana cost card so as you see drift when we transmute it lets us find grand architect uh, to put together our combo, and after we get our combo going, Blue Sun Zenith for the win. We also have Muddle the Mixture, which counters target instant or sorcery spell, which actually is a decent ability to have in this deck, but its main purpose is to pay 1 and 2 blue, discard it, and search for a 2 converted mana cost card, which conveniently is our Pilly Pala, our Azure Mage, and also our Pyromatics. So that's why we have Pyromatics as a win condition uh, over a Fireball or something along those lines. So the rest of the deck is basically ways to find our combo and ways to protect our combo. We have Serum Visions, Sleight of Hand, and Anticipate as ways to cycle through our deck and put together our combo. We have Into the Royal, Swan Song, and Remand, a couple copies of each as ways to protect our combo. And then as far as our mana base, all islands and four Halimar depths, which allow us to uh, dig a little bit deeper and hopefully put together our combo, which uh, as I'm sure you're noticing is a theme of this deck. 
So basically, uh, the combo uh, can you can get the combo in play on turn three. Um, even if you don't play your Pilly Pal on turn two, one of the cool things about Grand Architect is it's a blue creature itself, so it can tap itself for two mana uh, to to use on artifact spells, which conveniently is a converted mana cost of Pilly Pala. The thing is, if you do it on turn three, you don't have the extra blue mana um, to activate Grand Architect's ability and turn Pilly Pala blue. So really, it's a turn four combo. Um, the other nice thing about doing it later is you can leave up protection, which uh, admittedly, the combo, while it's cool and it's really only, I mean, I guess it's three cards. It's two cards for infinite mana, but then you need one other card to really make it work. The good news is we have 4, 8, uh, 12, 13, 14. I mean, we have 14 cards that naturally slot into our deck that work as the third card in the combo, and then all these cards uh, to help find it. Um, as far as the sideboard, we have Apostle's Blessing, which is pretty sweet. It's a Phyrexian mana spell, so we can cast it for one and two life, since we don't have any white mana in this deck. But it gives an artifact or creature protection from artifacts or the color of your choice for your turn. So basically, we pay one and two life and protect our Grand Architect or Pilly Pala from a Lightning Bolt or a Path to Exile or whatever else we might run into. We have Vapor Snag here, which is a concession to the Splinter Twin combo. Um, uh, basically, it allows us to bounce the Deceiver Exarch or Pestermite in response to the Splinter Twin. Um, we have Gigadraus, which is our um, counterspell tech in this deck. Gigadraus is actually a pretty sweet card for combo decks. Um, it costs one blue and lets you tap target your permanent. The sweet thing is it has Replicate, so you can pay one more blue, and one more blue, and one more blue, and for every blue you pay, you can replicate or copy the spell. So if you have five blue mana, you can pay five and tap five per minute. So the idea is basically uh, on our opponent's end step, we can, especially against control decks, we can pay five or six blue mana, tap them out, and then combo off the next turn, or get our combo into play without worries about it getting countered. Then we have more Swan Songs. Swan Songs is a card I really love in this deck. Um, we Our combo is fast enough that we don't generally care too much about a 2-2 flyer. And it just counters anything. There's definitely situations um, where a Spell Pierce or another card like that just doesn't do it. And it uh, gives us another one-mana way to interact with um, counter spells, removal spells, you name it. Uh, and then also some Dispels, which are basically more Swan Songs. Um, I think Swan Song in this deck is a little bit better than Dispel, which is why we have four Swan Songs between uh, the main and the sideboard and only two Dispels. But anyway, so that's the idea of this deck. Um, a quick mention about the price. Uh, for one thing, as you can see, this is the, the paper cost here, which adds up to almost $100, $98. Um, a couple quick notes. Vapor Snag, in this deck, it could just as well be on Summon. I played Vapor Snags because I already had them in my collection. Um, but we don't really care about the loss of one life. It's basically just one mana instant speed bounce a creature. So you can just as easily play on Summon in that slot. And the other note is why we really need Serum Visions and these one mana dig through our deck cards, which are actually kind of expensive there's a decent chance that these cards will be cheaper before too long because they could be reprinted or are likely to be reprinted in Modern Masters 2015, which should drive the price down. And Remand, I had these in my collection, so I stuck them in there. Uh, you could get by without them. If I wasn't playing Remands, I would probably bring in one more Anticipate and maybe one more Swan Song to the main deck. Uh, but really, if you cut three mans, that puts it down to about $60, $60, just over $60 in the paper world. So there are some things you can do to make the price even cheaper. Online, I mean, the bulk of the price is really the four Serum Visions, which are eight of the 22 tickets, and the two remands, which are 10. So that's 18 of the 22 tickets right there. Like I said, Serum Visions, you can't really cut, I don't think. 
but you might be able to pick up cheaper in the future. Three mans, you can cut, same as before. Throw in one more Anticipate and one more Swan Song, and you should be good to go. Anyway, uh, the deck is fun. I don't think... Anyway, on uh, we're going to go and run through some matches. Um, oh yeah, one more thing. <laughs> as you will see in these matches, if you're going to play this deck on Mana, uh, Magic Online, uh, there is a lot of clicking involved. Uh, every time you add one mana, you have to click on Grand Architect to activate its ability, click on Pillapala to tap it, click on Pillapala to untap it, and then choose a color of mana. So for every one mana you add, you have to click four times in Magic Online. Unfortunately, unlike in Paper Magic, where uh, once you demonstrate an infinite combo, you can just kind of do it as much as you want, uh, there's no option in Magic Online uh, to demonstrate a loop like that. So if you need to add 53 mana for a Blue Sun Zenith, you have to click 212 times. Um, even just as your mage, like you, 4 mana to draw a card equals up to 16 clicks to get the mana, plus then as your mage, 17 clicks. So it is a very click-intensive <laughs> process. So I definitely recommend if you're playing this on Magic Online, be aware of the amount of clicking and definitely pay attention to your clock. It's not the kind of deck where you can uh, double Q very easily. Uh, and you will see this in some of the matches where uh, I'm definitely rushing uh, through the combo uh, out of clock concerns. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy the matches.